So a nonprofit or fundraiser called you up and they want you to work doing balloons or face paint or magic for free. So what do you do, right? So if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button below uh, for amazing, good videos in the future. If you're a balloon artist, magician, whatever you guys do, this channel is for you. Uh, if you want to write any comments, write in the comments below. So this today's video, we're going to talk about fundraisers and nonprofits organizations, right? And have them pay you, okay? Have them to pay you. So stay tuned to the end of the video. I also have a secret bonus. So stay tuned to that. So let's get started. So you got a phone call, okay? From a person who's running an event for their fundraiser or for their nonprofit organization. And the cause goes like this. Hi, I am blank. I have a event going on and we're having a ton of families and it's gonna be a big crazy event and we want you to come in and do balloons for free. Right? But we'll promote you and you're gonna get a ton of traffic and free advertising for your business. No, no. Well, I'm sure you get that a lot. Um, and then what, I'll be honest with you guys, this is up to you. If this is a fundraiser or a charity or whatever you guys, if this is something you believe in, go ahead, do it. It's your money, it's your time. If some, if it's, if, if something's from the goodness of your heart, then go ahead and do the event. Uh, it's your choice. And if it's something you guys want to do to learn, to grow, and also to market yourself, feel free to do so. But for me personally, I don't do that um, because my time and my balloons and is valuable, and I don't work for free. Period. And a lot of these fundraisers and our organizations, and they they sometimes take advantage of people. So I'm gonna explain to you how nonprofits and fundraisers work. Okay. So a lot of you have the idea because they're a nonprofit organization, they don't have money and it goes to their charity, all the money goes to the charity, and they're broke, they have no budget. Guys, I, I am here to tell you that is not true. If you do your research and go on Google about how nonprofits make money and how they run their nonprofits, you're gonna be surprised from the answers you're going to get, okay? Think about it. If there's a guy who's running a non-profit organization, right? And we need money just to simply survive. Who works for free? No one does. Because the truth is, majority of the charity money goes to the, the actual company of the non-profit. It goes to the people who are working it. It goes to their logo. It goes to their mortgages. It goes to other payments. A small percent goes to the actual cause. Let me repeat that. A small percent goes to the actual cause. Okay? And how do companies like that, nonprofits, make money? I'll tell you how they make money. They make money by having corporations sponsor the events. They either, or the second thing they do is they have vendors like bakers or people selling stuff, they pay them money to the nonprofit organization just to have a booth at their events, right? And they're making a lot of money from it. And the third thing is donations. They're getting free money from people who believe in this organization. And so when you think they have no budget, they have no money, trust me, they have a ton of money. Okay, do your research. Um, Google nonprofit businesses, all that stuff. But trust me when I say this, they make a ton of money. So they can't afford you. They can. They just rather not pay you. They rather keep the money to themselves. Okay? <laughs> Again, they're trying to save money 
because they're trying to keep the money to themselves. Okay. So here are the steps of how to get them to pay you. So phase one, ask them qualifying questions, right? They, a lot of you jump to the gun and be like, okay, I do it. No, I ask them questions. Number one, what is this fundraiser or charity for? Write it down. The second question is, how many people are attending this event? The third question is, are you having companies sponsor your event? And are you also having vendors too? That's number three. And that is the key question. That is the most important question of everything. That's the main one. Number four, do you have a Facebook group? And how many followers do you have? And how many likes do you have? And that's another key point that I'm gonna later go down the video and explain to you. And number five is, do you have a budget? Okay. So they're gonna answer all these questions and the last one, they're gonna lie about how much money they have and such and such because they're trying to get you to work for free or pay you very, very little, okay? <laughs> so phase two is now you have all the questions and now you're going to ask them, okay, so if I'm willing to, if I'm willing to do this event, would you guys promote my business on your social media once every twice a week? On your social Facebook before the event second question would be would you advertise my logo at the day of the event and my information if they say yes go ahead to the next one and then you and then the other one is um, is um, do you have an email blast and would you also market me through email okay so if they say yes to that, then you move on to the next step. The next one is you're gonna break it down, break down your rates. So my rate is $150 an hour doing balloon twisting. But you're going to do what I like to call a white innocent lie. Instead of saying $150 an hour, you're going to say I charge $175 an hour. And believe me, they're going to believe it. They don't know if you have pricing in your website, too bad. But for me and my website, I don't put any pricing whatsoever for that reason. I tell them I charge $175 an hour. But because you're a nonprofit, okay, I'm willing to charge you $100 an hour. But I have to work also for tips just to make up my loss you see what i did there so i made it seem like i gave them a deal right but in reality i charge 150 dollars. they think they're getting 75 dollars off right and the tip jar it's going to actually help make the difference and i tell and a lot of times guys these fundraisers or nonprofits, you do get a lot of tip money because a lot of people think that the donations right is going to the organization but reality is going to you right that's your that's your business okay um so tip jar i had a video somewhere uh, i'll put the link i'll put a little link here somewhere if you guys want to watch how to make tips watch that video very very good um so um have a tip jar and explain to them listen Weekends are the most busiest time for me. I do birthday parties, I do events. Um, for me to do this event, that means I'm gonna be losing money from not working these events, but to work at your event, okay? You explain it to them, people, they understand you're not a non-profit business, you're a profit business, you're here to make money, and they understand that. And if you tell them, listen, 
I could be working at a birthday party and event making 175 an hour, but instead I'll be working your event for $100 plus tips. Um, but, and very important too, if I am going to do this, you have to advertise me and post me on social media with the photos I want you to post and the, my link and my phone number on the social media. And I will be checking every week to see if you've been doing it. And I'll be honest, if I don't see that, I will turn down the event. I will tell them straight up. I won't do the event. It won't be worth it for me. And I need you to help me so I can help you. Okay? And they do it. They agree. And then you try to break it down and say, listen, if they say they can't afford you, you can also say you can have a company sponsor me at their booth to help them bring traffic, foot traffic, to their booth. I would wear their shirt. I would pass out their business cards. I would advertise them on my social media, my email marketing, whatever. Okay, if they pay me only, I'd be only making balloons for that booth to help them bring traffic. Okay, if they can't pay the $100 an hour plus tips, that's your second option. And your third option, if they say no, they can't have a sponsor or they can't pay you, you just say, well, I'm sorry, but I cannot do the event, unfortunately. But if you do change your mind, please contact me and we'll talk and figure it out from there. And then just hang up. Okay, guys. So that is it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, write below. And here's the secret bonus. Okay, the secret bonus. The secret bonus of fundraisers and nonprofits, okay, is um, now I forgot. This uh, the secret bonus is when you send them the the post for Facebook post, right? And you put in the description. Make sure you put your booking link. Do not put your phone number on there because think about it. People are on Facebook and they see it and they're interested in booking you and they see your number you think they're gonna call you no you have a better chance of putting a link because that way they can click on it and do your booking form that way instead of like oh here's a phone number let me go grab a pen real quick write it down and let me go call him right now and book this guy you see what's more easier doing a link where people can just press and fill out the form on their phone or that. You see? See? It's more effective that way. So that is the bonus tip. Thank you for watching this video. Take care. This is Jim, the balloon guy. Peace out.